Hi, I'm Dr. Shweta Rahul, consultant dermatologist, and today we're going to talk about acne, or rather, a more common man term is known as pimples. Now, this is a topic I have to talk Pimples, did you know that almost 85% of the world's population between 14 to 24 years of age suffer from acne? And it is one of the biggest, biggest issues today in teenagers, adolescents and almost in adults as a psychosocial problem. That is why body image happens to be a big issue. Every time we see ourselves, we want to see ourselves in a good light in the mirror. If Suppose number, adhla oru tharumbu oru idu chinnna issue arundha koda, we get very upset. There are lots of uh, teenagers who look at acne and pimples as a big problem in their life. And in fact, there have been some suicidal tendencies even for some patients. And the alavukku vandhu, today teenagers are getting impacted with this whole problem. Now, why is acne an issue which only, is, does it only act up in skin? It is not. Acne is definitely has a hormonal background to it. So most acne, today WHO has considered acne a chronic disease or a chronic disorder. So it is always a long term issue. Acne, it is a particular infection or inflammation of this, the oil producing glands which are there in the face and the back in the areas where there are many In the particular disorder, I am even talking about this as a topic today. Because at the end of the day, acne is not an issue. But this can leave a lasting scar on somebody's face. And for the next 60, 70, 80 years of our life, that is what we will have to live with. Now, is acne only a skin issue? What we have to understand is, this is the tip of the iceberg. Or the skin is a mirror of what is going on inside the body. It's only the hormonal uh, swings which occur during the growing area, uh, years of our life that end up also giving you acne on the skin. Now, what are the hormonal issues? As far as girls are concerned, problems like polycystic ovaries or PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, this gives a lot of hormonal issues which give rise to acne in the skin. Now, it's not only PCOS, but today there is also an increase in uh, insulin in the body, mainly because of our diet patterns. Nareya sugar, nareya carbohydrates, our body la the insulin secretion when it increases, insulin also happens to increase the amount of acne which occurs on the skin. So, this is also one reason, that is the lifestyle and diet changes. Uh, when there is acne, now what can we do to prevent it or to safeguard your skin from acne, Abdina? Prevent it firstly, change your lifestyle. Make sure that you are not on a processed sugar rich diet. And when I mean by sugar, anything that is sweet is sugar. So your honey is sugar, your jaggery is sugar. That's why you say, I'm going to eat sugar, doctor. I'm going to eat sugar, but I'm going to eat sugar. That's why it's sugar. Anything which tastes sweet on your tongue is sugar. And if you're going to even fruits for that matter, have a limited amount of fruits. Because that's why you say, nature's candy. So everything in moderation and definitely cut out the processed sugar. Carbohydrates are a little bit less. You should have a fairly balanced diet containing a lot of vegetables and fresh salads. So this is very important. Water intake is also a quite an important aspect of this. Now more than all this, your diets are apart. It's very, very important that you tell your children, yourself, not to touch your skin. When you're having acne and you touch your skin, you are almost one pimple on the number, and especially when you meddle with your acne, you end up having more of scars. So this is one very important aspect that we have to consider. Now, apart from this, the lifestyle changes as well as touching your skin. Do not try unnecessary home remedies. What I mean is your cooking. They, they, uh, for instance, when the people tend to put uh, uh, turmeric garlic uh, We have so many patients who come back with scars because of the kind of treatments that they take themselves. Please don't experiment on your skin with anything and everything that is available at home. Neem arachapotra All these also contain a lot of other additive substances like coloring agents which may irritate your skin. And one day or not, it may agree with you on one day, but the second day it may not agree, you may end up burning your skin. So better to avoid all these home remedies on the skin as much as possible. So apart from oral medication for acne and also applications, there are lots of procedures also available today like your chemical peels, microdermabrasion and treatments to correct acne scars like derma roller and fractional carbon dioxide lasers which can be used to treat and correct acne and also acne scars. So do consult your dermatologist to get better information as to what suits your skin and go by what they tell you. Thank you.